Hello everyone. Here is another of those confusing probability questions. Mainly for the beginners. So, the problem goes like this. There is a stairs with three steps, and little Ted is standing in front of it. Now little Ted is big enough to jump, either one step, or two steps at a time. Can you find out, the probability of going to the third step, from the floor, without visiting the second step? He doesn't move backwards. Can you find out this probability? Pause the video to give it a try, or else you may continue with the solution. So, let us think of the ways. Little Ted can move from the floor, to the third step. One possibility is, floor to the first step, then second, and then third. Second possibility is, floor to the first step, and then the third. Third possibility is, floor to the second step, and then the third. So, there are three possible ways, of, going from the floor to the third step. Out of these, there is one way, in which, Ted doesn't visit the second step. So, the probability of going to the third step from the floor, without visiting the second step is, 1 by 3. Can you think of, what is wrong with this approach? What do you think will be the correct answer? Look at the third case. Floor to second step to the third. The probability of this scenario is not 1 by 3, but 1 by 2. Let us jump the stairs. Again. Little Ted is at the floor. Here, he has two choices. Either to go to the first step, or to the second step. The probability of visiting each of these steps is half. So, P of, 0 to 1 is half, and P of, 0 to 2 is half. At step 1, he has two choices again. He can go to the second step, or the third step. So, P of, 1 to 2, is half, and P of, 1 to 3 is, half. At step 2, you will notice that, little Ted has just one choice. Go to step 3. So, P of, 2 to 3, will be 1. Now, there is only one way, in which little Ted can go, from 0 to 3, without visiting the second step, which is, 0 1 3. This probability will be, P 0 1, into P 1 3, which is, half multiplied by half, that is, 1 by 4. Hope you enjoyed this visual approach to solving math problems. A visual understanding can make even a complex problem look easy. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this math video and want us to make more such videos. Thank you for your time and have a good day. Thanks for watching.